hi fashion designer and welcome to my channel today i just want to show you how i made this 1950 inspired dress and i actually saw it on pinterest and i thought i really love it and i'm definitely going to make one so the first thing that i did was to get an idea on how it was made and i had to draft it on my you know my notebook so I went ahead and I took my front pattern and if you do have a basic block pattern, you can go ahead and work on it. So I started with my neckline. I had to lower it by four inches. And then right here now, that's where now I had to mark from the shoulder to the four inch mark. This will actually become the neck depth of my neckline. So to create that nice V shape, I had to connect it from the neckline to the apex point because I noticed right on the design, the, the overlap is actually on almost like the apex point. So right here on the center of my pattern, I had to move one and a half inch and just create, um, connect these two points. So basically the front pattern is almost done. My mistake was actually open, uh, closing the side dot. I will later show you what really happened because the problem is it opened this dot and it became so wide and it did affect my gamut because it was pointed right on the apex. So once you're done doing this, just go ahead and cut out your pattern. At this point, I wouldn't suggest that you close the side dot. So just leave it like that. So right here, I'm actually fixing or cutting out the front dot. And I noticed that because it will cause that pointiness, I took a pattern paper and I placed it right under the dot so that I can fix any pointiness that might happen later on onto the pattern. So if you want to close the side dot, go ahead and do this so that you can avoid any pointiness on the apex area. So if you've reached this part of the tutorial, do make sure that you give it a thumbs up. This is the only way to make sure that this tutorial reach other soul buddies. So once I've done correcting the dot, I just went ahead and just cut out that excess paper and the front pattern is actually done. I took my back and the front pattern together and I'm going to take my front pattern and I traced out the dot. Okay, I traced out the dot and it was so wide and I did the same thing also onto the other side. So I'd used two fabric, black and white and black and go ahead now and just close down your dot right here on both sides. So once you were done, this is where, because if you don't have a lining, I went ahead and created a facing. So my facing is uh, two inches wide at this point. And once you are done, you just want to just cut this out and you want to do the same thing also for the back panel. And this process for me, I find it so easy and like cutting out the lining. So this is how it's going to sit for the front uh, panel. And I did the same thing also for the back, back panel, as I mentioned, and I'm just going to create a interfacing. So I'm going to join the back panel right here on the shoulder with the front panel right sides facing and then so here on the shoulder so once i'm done doing that this is how these two panels turn out so the next thing is to assemble the facing and this is this front one and i've made sure that they are right sides facing with the back it actually have the s shape as you can see so once joined together this is how it will turn out so I'm going to sew here, right here, half an inch seam allowance. And then once I'm done, I went ahead and I took the facing and I placed it right sides over here. And I am going to make sure that I align it right here on the edge and then just go ahead and sew a straight stitch. So this is how it looks right on the inside. One thing I will uh, advice is always iron your work this will make sure you make sure that your work looks nice and neat on the inside so i did this on both sides the left and the right and i'm going to overlap these two and take it to the sewing machine and just sew right here on the edge so that 
they don't move around when you join them with the bottom skirt so i've placed them right sides facing like this and i'm going to sew the side seam joining the back and the front so at this point i went ahead and i placed the pin so where there are pins that's where i'm going to attach my buttons so you want to go ahead now and attach buttons right uh, on this areas here also so this is the pointed edge uh, I was talking about. You might not see it here on the camera, but what I was talking about in your pattern is this. You're going to have two uh, dots, the side dot, including the one on the front. So make sure that you leave it so that it doesn't open your dot too wide. And then your garment will come out beautiful at this point. So now... Once you are done, at this point it's optional if you want to attach the sleeve on your garment or not, but I'm going to attach sleeves. I went in ahead and I did the skirt and I attached a black panel right on the bottom part of the skirt. This is actually a circle skirt. So I took my blouse and I placed it right sides facing and I'm going to sew a straight stitch. And once I'm done, I am going to show you how this dress turned out. And there we go. This is how the dress turned out. It didn't really look vintage, but I really love the outcome regardless. And my favorite part is right at the back. The bow is everything for me. If you still want to see this 1950s dress, make sure that you do comment down below and I'll make more for you.